here we are in Part 5. After completing your first outcomes assessment over Part 4, we are beginning a new unit on International Formatting, Unit 17. And in this unit, you're going to be introduced to International Formatting by creating documents for companies with offices in Canada, Mexico, France, and Germany. You're going to learn how to use special size stationery and insert accents used in foreign languages. Let's begin in Lesson 81. The information that is duplicated in your textbook has several sections in this lesson, beginning with 81E. You're going to need to review metric paper size. In 81F, metric envelope size. 81G, international addresses in letters, and 81H, day, month, and year format, and then 81I is the word processing lesson in your word manual. This is on paper size, and it is essential that you complete this lesson before you begin work on your documents. When you are ready to begin 8177, this is a business letter in modified block style, you need to refer to page 328 in your textbook because there is a situation outlined there, more like a simulation, and this is going to carry over to every lesson in this unit. So be sure that you understand that you're going to be virtually working for CanCom computers. The situation is outlined as a company in Canada. You are given a name, which indicates your reference initials, and for the five days or five lessons in this unit, you're going to be preparing documents for several CanCom executives. Today is June 26. Second, as indicated on page 328, and you're going to spend your first day preparing documents that appear in your in-basket. All documents, with the exception of email, will be typed on A4 size paper. It has a slightly different midpoint to start typing the date and closing lines, but you're going to use a left tab of 3.25 inch to type these lines as you do on a standard sheet of paper. So let's begin correspondence 8177. We're going to pull up our checklist over on the right and notice that the first step is to use A4 size paper setting and you should have learned about this in the word manual lesson for lesson 81. To change the setting go to the page layout tab and on the ribbon in the page setup group for size you're going to select A4. You may have noticed the slight shift since it is slightly smaller in width. Now the next step is to clear all tabs and set a left tab at the center point. This is the essential procedure that you need to use for modified block style. If you'll remember, we had one experience with that style in correspondence 6664. I hope you got it worked out then. I'm going to move faster through it this time. As we go back to the Home tab and click the Paragraph group, we move down to Tabs, and then the first thing we do is click Clear All to remove the default tabs. Then we only need to set one tab for the modified block style, type 3.25. Be sure it is a left tab, and then click Set. Notice how it appears in this block below, indicating which tabs are set for this document. Now you can click OK and turn on your ruler if it's not on already because you should see the left tab set here at three and a quarter inch. Now we can begin the letter by pressing enter five times, one, two, three, four, five. Press the tab key once to move to the center point and type the date in international format. After the date, you press enter four times, one, two, three, four, you're going to have three blank lines before you type the inside address. Now under the information about addresses on page 327, you should note that you put two spaces after a Canadian province before the kind of postal code that they use in Canada. You type CANADA in all caps below that postal code and then you press enter two times to type the salutation You press enter two times again so that you have a blank line after the salutation. Then you type the body of the letter. You begin a new paragraph at each red paragraph mark in your text. 
This includes a URL in the body of the letter and you notice that that should be formatted as a hyperlink as you type. After you have finished the last paragraph of the letter, you press enter two times. You press tab to move to the center point and you type the complementary closing. After that, you press enter four times, one, two, three, four. Then you press tab again to move to the center point and type the writer's identification. Press enter, tab once more to type the writer's title. Then you will press enter two times. Remain at the left margin to type your reference initials. This time, your name is Janet Osborne, so your initials in lowercase will be J-O. Press enter one time and press undo to uncapitalize the J in your reference initials. Now we're going to type a copy notation. Press enter twice and type the postscript. Okay? Now, as always, avoid any keystrokes after that last line, the last word, or punctuation. Scroll through your letter and compare it to the checklist. Make sure you have completed all steps and that the appropriate four lines are tabbed over to the center point. If your letter looks like this, please save it and submit to GDP for scoring. Then correct all keystroking errors to zero.